Good afternoon everyone. Um, this is um, a new junk journal I would like to share with you. Um, it's um, a part of a swap that um, I'm taking part in and it's the first time I'm actually taking part in a swap for junk journals. Um, so I'm trying to combine the love that I have for um, patchwork and, and sewing along with things that I had lying about that I wanted them to look like good and useful for somebody else. So this entire book is made by me from things that I had in my sewing room as well as paper that I had in my craft room. Um, I've made the cover um, looking like a patchwork. Um, it opens here at the sides and the three signatures are inside. Um, this is part of an old pair of jeans that I had. Um, I've used little tuck spots throughout the whole junk journal, created different types of ephemera so the recipient can actually write things down, tuck things in here, use them wherever she pleases um, and in whatever way she enjoys them to and just little pieces of ephemera that she can actually use in her project. Um, it's my first take on it so I think a few things could have gone differently should I have done that before but anyway. Uh, just different embellishments that I made, collage tuck spots, cards that I created, coffee dyed paper that I printed out. Her favourite colour is teal so I try to keep that along in the theme as well. There's a lot of room for her to write in. Um, I'm just going to go through it quickly and a few tags that I created. Things that I had in my craft room that I found quite useful now and stamping on the tags. I didn't do too much on the paper because I really want her to make it her own. Doilies and coffee dyed paper as well as food colouring dyeing on the paper. Tuck spots everywhere and a lot of mixed media going on here as well. Some lace. Different packets that she can use and different stamps that I have used on here as well and um, punched out some scrapbooking paper this has been sewn and um, I just glued it on here and just different little tags and tuck spots. And this is just stamping on pieces of fabric um, and just collaged different pieces of paper and sewn them together and a little embellishment here and did some sewing here as well. I'm running through it because I don't have much time. And this is beautiful. It's a it's a copy. I've um, printed it out, but it's part of um, 
it's part of a, a publication on on Greek wildflowers that was done back in the 19th century and it belongs to the Greek National Library so it's it's beautiful it's not the original but it's a copy of it and this is just more of the um, snippet roll that I made with fabric and more lace and a little notebook for her to write more I'll do this later and this is a a really really good uh, monoprint with my jelly plate um, it was done with leaves that I actually picked in my garden um, and it worked out really pretty so had to add that there I like interchangeable um, pages because one can actually add more if they want or they can use it as a focal point for photographs out and this is something that I really love making it's different techniques with a lot of collage um, texture paste um, gessoing stamping a piece of fabric here and a printout with a piece of um, fabric as well on the back so there's a lot of room for her to grow into and that's what I wanted I didn't want it too full I didn't want it far too embellished I wanted a few good things for her to use um, and little pieces that she can actually incorporate in her own journaling And a few cards here and this is an envelope I had lying about for ages and I just glue it down and made another tuck spot I'll do that later and more cards for her to use as she pleases and this is just um, napkin and printouts that I just printed and uh, stuck with 